value deals with the lightness or darkness of a color. The more light, the higher the value. White is the highest or lightest value. On the other hand, black is the lowest or darkest value. Colors have value as well. Yellow, for example, has a relatively high light value, while violet has a relatively low value, dark. Since we see objects and understand objects because of how dark or light they are, the value is incredibly important to art. We see things because light reflects off of the objects and goes into our eyes. Our mind processes the light and rationalizes what we see. Without light, we cannot see anything. In order to draw or paint in a way that creates an illusion of what we normally see, we must fully understand light and how it reflects off of a surface. Value is the key to the illusion of light. Artworks that exhibit a full range of value are generally successful. It doesn't matter the type of art you are creating. As long as there are dark values in harmony with light values, your artwork will most likely be aesthetically pleasing. A full range of value means that there are ample amounts of light values called tints and dark values called shades. To be sure you have a full range of value in your artwork, you may create a value scale. A value scale is a gray scale comprising of a series of spaces filled with various shades of a color. The shades range from the lightest to the darkest. A good artwork includes within a full range of values. The whole point to value is to create the illusion of light. So value is used to basically create the illusion of highlights and shadows. Highlights and shadows combine to create the illusion of a light source. Remember, without light we cannot see. So technically, without a light source, you have no illusion. Today we are going to practice the value scale, which is the degrees of lightness or darkness. The difference between values is called value contrast. In order to have realistic drawings, you need to practice the value scale and understand it completely. Most of you only have your regular graphite pencil, which is considered an HB pencil. But if you had some nice quality drawing pencils, you would have a nice range that we're looking at here. From the middle, the further right you go, the softer the graphite pencil becomes. Whereas the further left you go, the harder the graphite becomes. You would use those harder pencils, which have an H at the end, to get more of a really light value. But then also the H pencils are good for sketching out your first drawings before you add value. The pencils that have a B behind the number are excellent for shading. The higher up you go in the number, the softer that lead is going to be and the less you have to press really hard to get that rich, deep value. Today's assignment will be to practice drawing a graduated value scale. Learning how to shade with a pencil is really important for drawing realistically. For this assignment, I want you to have a sharpened pencil, an eraser, and your ruler. Just trace around your ruler, and then once you get done tracing around the ruler, then I need you to mark off one half inch marks, top and bottom. Now that you have these guidelines, to do your gradation. The very first section, I want you to press really hard so you get the darkest value. Make sure that you have a sharpened pencil and that you're gripping your pencil more on the side so you have more of that graphite um, against the paper. Press hard enough so that you don't see any of the white paper showing through. 
Now that I've filled in the first section completely as dark as I can get, then the next section I'm going to just lift up a little bit on my pressure. And as I'm going down, I just continue to have less and less pressure. But make sure in each section you are applying the same amount of pressure so that you have an even value tone. Make sure that when you are shading, you don't hold your pencil, like I said, like you're writing a letter or you're doing other um, work. You really want to hold your pencil on the side. So as you could see here, it's a totally different grip when you are applying the shading technique. Um, so just look at how you're gripping your pencil and really try um, to change that grip. people use blending stumps. I never grew up with those. Um, I used to always just wrap a Kleenex around my pencil and use that as a blending stump. This is my preferred method even still today. When you blend with a blending stump or with the Kleenex, it just leaves a really smooth um, area. Um, and then I go back over the really dark area. You don't want to blend that completely out because then you um, miss that last tone. Now it's time for you to try this on your own. Mm -hmm. 